What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, and of course we had to continue this series on because you guys love the last one, um, and I've seen all of your comments, and Mario Odyssey was the most requested for the next game. Uh, we just got done with Mario Galaxy, but please rest assured I've seen all of your comments and all of your game suggestions, and even you Paper Mario fans, so I'll get to you guys uh, when I get there. But Mario Odyssey is the one that kind of caught my attention the most, and I think there's a lot that they can do with the game. Um, there's a lot of aspects, especially with the whole Cappy um, capture mechanic. There's a lot of cool things that I could go into level design and I kind of wanted to talk to you guys about how this would work. So without further ado, let's get started. Now first of course we have to talk about the moveset. This is the most important part of the thing and what makes this game different. Well obviously Galaxy had that spin like we talked about. Well Odyssey has Cappy. You know I think that's the most thing. But before we get there, um, let's talk about exactly how Mario moves. Mario still has similar moves to how he does in 3D World so I don't think it'd be too hard to translate that into Odyssey game style. Um, he can jump, he can long jump, he can triple jump um, and he could do you know butt pound and all that stuff. Um, but he also has a roll this time around. He can dive and he can roll. Um, but also, but he could also throw his hat, that's Cappy, and that's where we kind of run into some issues. Going back to the fact that we have so many characters, we have Mario, Luigi, Toad, and Toadette, it's kind of hard to see them in a Mario Odyssey style. Not impossible, but it's hard to see, because obviously Mario throws his hat. Now you could have Luigi do that, but how in the world are you going to have Toad and Toadette do that? Are you going to have them throw their mushroom head? I don't understand that. And of course, that's a big aspect because there is that versus online opponent where there must be four characters. Maybe they'll come up with two other characters, maybe Wario and Waluigi, who knows. Um, but, you know, it's up to Nintendo. And that's the only thing, that's literally probably the only thing that I can't figure out how Nintendo will handle. Um, because that multiplayer aspect is important. Especially when everybody's throwing hats around on the stage. It might get kind of confusing, but that's, you know, least of their problems. It's just, who will those two other characters be? It's kind of hard to figure out, but it could even be Peach, believe it or not, because she does have um, a tiara uh, that's actually a main character in the game, and maybe she can throw that. Um, but who knows? That one's up to Nintendo. But yeah, the Cappy mechanic is what's going to really influence this game um, and make it different than other games, because you can actually turn into enemies. You know, you can design levels specific for those enemies. You can have a level specific for a Goomba or for a Paragoomba. Uh, or for a Gushin, or for one of the Wigglers, Tropical Wigglers, you know, stuff like that. You can have level sets made for those enemies, and that's what's so awesome. Now, what would be the item category? We have changed, obviously, to the capture category, because all the enemies, well, most of the enemies in Mario Odyssey is how Mario gets his power-ups, is he turns into them and uses their abilities, and... There are so many of them in this game. So instead of just saying items, we're going to combine uh, items and enemies into this one group. And man, there are a lot. You can really choose from a lot. Uh, you have basic Mario enemies such as Goombas, Paragoombas. Uh, you have Bullet Bills. You have Cheap Chiefs. And then you have some brand new ones to the series such as the Tropical Wiggler or even the Gushin Fish Enemy that appears in the water stages. This aspect alone is already exciting as it is, but... Just picture it, because you already make stages for Mario and for all the other characters, but you have to make stages for enemies now. You'll make a stage that maybe just has to involve Goombas, and you know you'll have a special stage for the uproot enemies, or for the Gushins, or for the Cheap Cheeps, and it's just so amazing to think of the possibilities, because this changes exactly like the whole base formula for Mario. You're designing courses to complete them as Mario enemies. Now the question of course is will Nintendo go all the way out and adding all the enemies from Mario Odyssey or a big chunk of them at all? Because remember, a Nintendo also has to render what it looks like for Mario to have these enemies. So they could even bring up new ones, but that's a lot of work because they'll have to have all these enemy captures and the designs and everything already laid out. But hear me out on something that's very interesting. One of the things that people really wanted to see return was the great costumes from the first game. I mean, you could literally have costumes from every single character in the Nintendo franchise. You could use your Amiibo to get these costumes, or you could unlock them manually. And this was something that was really cool, but what was really kind of locked down and kind of sucked was it was only tied to the original Mario Brothers theme, and you couldn't use the costumes in any other theme, which kind of sucked because I made certain levels that would have worked cool in another theme, but I wanted that, let's say, a Zelda level with a specific level skin and I think I know why they may have not shown this yet now hear me out and follow along for a second I know this may be wild but let's just say and coin the idea that Nintendo replaced these mushroom costumes from the original Mario Brothers theme and instead they replaced it with these different multiple skins from Super Mario Odyssey that could be very well why they've been hiding the fact that there's mushroom costumes and stuff in the game um, because they had to reveal the Super Mario uh, Odyssey theme still. And then you could choose from a whole array of outfit of clothes for Mario similar to how you could in Super Mario Odyssey. 
and that would be really cool. They could even have, you know, quote-unquote Zelda outfits and stuff like that, um, which would even tie in to the rumor that has come that there was going to be a Link skin for Mario and Mario Odyssey as DLC, and it never came. Maybe that was saved for a situation like this. And maybe that's just simply why we haven't seen the mushroom costumes appear yet, or maybe they would both appear in a game in a, some sort of fashion. There's a lot of little cool things you can add to this game style. Uh, you can have the little flowers that launch you up in the air. You can have these little flowers that get on your back and shoot you really fast. Uh, those water propelled ones. Um, you can have all kinds of stuff like that. Uh, but most of it would be stuff you can capture, you know. And I think that's how Mario traverses in the game by capturing non animate objects, uh, real objects, real enemies, stuff like that. So the main point would be Mario capturing things. Maybe he'll capture a Moai statue or just different things. And I, that's what's going to be so tough for Nintendo to figure out is what do they want you to capture and what do they not want you to capture because this is going to be a lot of work for the development team. Now, as far as the Brutals go, this is kind of self-explanatory. They would kind of work as Boom Boom, um, which they would just be thrown into wherever you want to put them. They'd kind of be like almost Bowser's children, which is another thing that I'm really surprised that the Koopalings didn't come in here. Uh, but you could have the Brutals, and they could all have like their own little move set and stuff. And uh, But as far as the big boss, the big Bowser boss that you put down, um, it will just be the wedding version of Bowser where he could throw his hat, and maybe you could just put his hat on and start hitting him a little bit, and um, you have to keep repeating the stage. And it'd be something that would be really easy to translate to 2D. It wouldn't require a lot of energy. And the same thing goes with the stage themes because this game has them all. You already have the desert, the jungle, the forest, the beach, and stuff like that. Even the snow region. Everything is covered already in Mario Odyssey, so that's a plus right there. Now I guess the last main question left is can this actually happen? Is this realistic? I think it is. I think this is also in the same vein as Mario Galaxy, and if I had to compare the two, I would actually kind of give Mario Odyssey the lead weight just because, like I said, I do think it's going to continue that new game style. I don't think it's going to go back to like a Mario Brothers 2 classic theme. I think they want to continue, you know, they already have three or four old themes. They want to continue with new ones. Um, and I think they want to keep pushing that almost 3D balance. I was kind of leaning whether or not if there's going to have any type of 3D effects at all, uh, whether like a small foreground, background type of thing you could build. Um, but I think this game is going to be strictly 2D, um, just straight 2D segments. I don't think they want to put their foot in the door for anything 3D related at the moment. Um, that's for a later installment. That's for later games. Um, that kind of 2.5D is what I was trying to say. But um, I cannot wait to see exactly what this is going to be. I think Odyssey has a really good chance. Like I said, if they could just figure out exactly the characters, who they're going to be, and um, the capture mechanic and get that put together, I think everything's all right. This may also explain why we didn't see any type of Mario Odyssey DLC, but at the same time, it might also explain um, a reason why they decided to do this. They may do it in a dual release where they kind of talk about this for um, Mario Maker, but then they also kind of tease maybe the next Mario Odyssey game, maybe a Mario Odyssey 2 coming in the future. As we know, Mario Galaxy came out just a couple years later, um, and we're kind of uh, approaching that fast, so maybe they'll give us some type of you know announcement or hint at a next Mario, big Mario 3D game um, at E3 this year. But we can all wish, and as I can say every video, we're getting closer and closer to E3, just a couple weeks away, about three weeks away, um, until we get some more information on these games, and I'm sure they'll cover some more Mario Odyssey stuff. If you guys have any other ideas in the comments uh, about Mario Odyssey and some cool things that they could do, uh, leave them in the comments below. And I have heard all your calls and requests um, for the next themes and stuff, for other other things for me to cover and I will get to them as quickly as I can but thank you guys for tuning in and I will see you guys on the next one what's up guys if you guys are fans of Fortnite and other games akin to that we have started a brand new channel named daddy l if you guys like third-party games outside of Nintendo and you want to break from Nintendo feel free to visit this channel feel free to subscribe as well as the link is in the description below and if you guys want to help to get the channel rolling that would be great thank you guys for your time and I'll see you in the next one